Why does IVF fail? What are the major reasons of recurrent IVF failure? Most couples take a step back from IVF as they think it requires multiple IVF cycles to finally get pregnant and they are considerate about the cost that each IVF cycle requires. But the reality is different. Before taking a step back from IVF and losing your hope of getting pregnant, watch this video. Assisted Reproductive Technology ART, or in simple words IVF is the most popular treatment of infertility in today's time. Though it's a highly successful treatment, still 30 to 40 percent of couples may not conceive in the first cycle of IVF and around 10 to 15 percent may suffer from recurrent IVF failure. Let us find out the reason of recurrent IVF failure and you can call us on the number below if you want to talk to the fertility experts from Nilkant IVF. First major reason of IVF failure is the poor embryo quality due to the increased number of couples undergoing IVF. Are of advanced age, quality of embryos formed from their eggs and sperm are not of superior variety, hence can cause decreased implantation potential in these embryos. Along with advanced age, modern day lifestyle also contributes towards poor quality embryos. Improving lifestyle habits, decreasing weight, taking antioxidants can improve embryo quality to some extent and improve the success rate in these cases. Another major reason is the uterine factor in IVF failure. For a successful IVF process, the proper inner lining of uterus is essential for implantation. Various conditions of uterus like endonomyces, endometriosis and fibroid decrease the ability of endometrium for implantation. Medical management with injections or uterine surgery in some cases can improve results in such cases. In diseases like tuberculosis and Escherman syndrome, uterine lining is markedly impaired and hence it's prone to implantation failure. Usually, these women are subjected to hysteroscopy for restoration of uterine cavity followed by course of hormonal tablets to improve the growth of endometrium for increase the success rate of IVF. Immunological factor is also a cause of recurrent pregnancy loss. Some women suffer from autoimmune diseases like antiphospholipid, antibody syndrome and systemic lupus anorthomolosis or SLE in which body itself attacks the fetal tissue and impairs implantation. In these cases, there is high risk of miscarriage even if pregnancy occurs. Medical management with blood thinner and steroids have shown to improve pregnancy outcome in these women. Sometimes in a significant number of couples who are suffering from recurrent IVF failure, no defined cause of identified. These couples usually are in a lot of stress and are swayed by false guarantee provided by some IVF centers. Nilkant IVF has introduced novel technique like vitrification that is freezing the embryos and then transferring them later in the uterus of female to improve the success rate of IVF cycles. Also Nilkant IVF has started providing sequential embryo transfer that is transfer of 3 days and the 5 embryos in the case cycle to increase the pregnancy rate especially in couples with recurrent IVF failure. Couples who are unable to achieve pregnancy with IVF should not get discouraged as with the advancement of newer technologies and medical science, these couples can also get pregnant in subsequent IVF attempts performed at a good IVF center by experienced fertility experts with modern medical knowledge. So stay tuned with us for more such videos and share these videos with your close ones who are waiting to start their journey of parenthood.